about to be my jam. Universal perspective. And I thought I would do another video in my car. I don't know why. So don't ask me. Today I'm doing a video. As you all know, because you're watching it. Blah, 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 blah. But I want to speak on thoughts. I know you're probably all thinking, dude, really? Thoughts? Why? I don't want to hear your thoughts about thoughts. Ha! Ah! Ah! Ha! Ah! <laughs> anyway, I just want to speak on it a little bit, give you my thoughts about thoughts, because thoughts are very, very powerful, and they can pretty much, if you let your mind just run, they can ruin your life. Just saying. Pretty much, I want to speak on topic of it, thoughts, I'm going to start with thoughts, they are pure creation. And what I mean by that, what I mean by thoughts are pure creation, is that thoughts are where it all starts. An idea, a concept, anything of those natures like that, or an image you have in your head of what you're going to do with your job or with that or you know if, even if you think about if you go all the way back to Henry Ford what do you think the idea of a car started the idea of a car started because it started with an idea in his head and, and that is where pure creation I guess you could say starts now why am I talking about this well I'm talking about this because Thoughts are pure creation and they can be made manifested in your life. Like, and what I mean, they legitly, your thoughts are directly related to the manifestations and the situations and circumstances that happen within your life. And how is this relevant? Well, it's relevant because your thoughts pretty much, I don't want to say rule everything because you can be ruled by your own mind if you let it get out of control, which is very, very dangerous. Not necessarily the greatest thing. Oh, I dropped my paper. Oh no, blah, 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 blah. But pretty much thoughts, they provoke a chemical response in the body, which in turn is a feeling. That's, well, that's, that, that, the, the, it is a feeling in the body that is, cre that is created by the thoughts, unless you don't let your thoughts create a feeling in your body, well then, that, then you didn't create a feeling with your mind, I guess. They provoke a chemical response in the body, which is a feeling, and then that feeling can then become made uh, into an action, which is called an emotion, and which is energy in motion. And that is actually that is something I learned, which is kind of it's kind of it's kind of interesting interesting topic there. I actually want to speak on that a little a little bit real quick. 
is feelings and emotion aren't necessarily the same thing. They are sim they're, they're, they stem from the same thing. Feeling is what you know, and emotion is what you know, is what you do with what you know. That came from Neil Donald Walsh and his conversation with God, book one, I do believe, so you guys can check that out. I may or may not put a link in the description. I don't know. I don't know if I want, if I'm going to, or if I feel like it, or I don't know. But emotion is energy in motion. You put an E and you hyphenate it between E motion, energy, and emotion, and that is pretty much just your action. That is what you do with what you know, with the feeling that you have inside you. In my life, and through experience and through awareness, I found that there's a direct correlation between what I think things that I think in my head and the images that I see like, like even when I see something in my head you know image visual, visualization there's a direct correlation between what I see and what I'm thinking in my head and what I experience in my reality I'll give you an example not too long ago uh, I had an older car a 96 Sabring drop top oh, you already know Ooh. the wind all up in my hair though. anyway I had the drop top, whatever, and I'd, you know, I'd, when I'm driving, I'd get into compulsive thinking. I'd start thinking, oh, what if I hit a deer, blah, 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 blah. And then I would actually, you know, I'd just get, I'd kind of start thinking about a deer, you know, popping out and hitting my car. I don't know, it was just compulsive thinking, just like anybody else. You know, you get that compulsive, that pet, re repetitive pattern going through your head. Uh, you, you just kind of get lost in your thinking. Well, not too long after I was thinking that, I, I hit a deer. Well, the deer hit me, but nonetheless, I still hit a deer. It all stemmed from me thinking about hitting a deer. I created me hitting a deer. And as simple as that sounds, and you're probably like, oh, you, he's probably, you guys probably may think it's a coincidence. Perhaps it is, I don't know. But I, I've noticed a distinct correlation between the two. I actually was uh, reading a, uh, an interview with Nikolai Tesla. So that was kind of cool. I was reading the interview from a page that I follow on Facebook. They posted an interview with John Smith in 1899 of an interview he did with Nikolai Tesla. And it actually speaks of him using visualization to perfect and tweak his inventions. He used thought to fix his inventions in his head before he actually fixed them. And he actually thought to speak to something like he used, he would purposely like problem solve in his dreams or something like that. I don't know, it's crazy. I ain't messing with that. Thoughts are what can be made manifest into your life and I want to get that basis. I want to get that foundation there because that's going to be real important as I keep talking. So thoughts can create things into your life. Like I said, manifested. Keep speaking on it. I, want, it's re I feel like that's really important to know that there's, you know, that's really important. Kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, poop. So with thoughts, you can use them to your benefit, but it can be very difficult to untrain yourself from negative mind patterns or patterns that you've gotten into the swing of while with your thinking, with your, with your mind. And it can be very hard because then you get stuck. You become almost attached to those thoughts in your head and you become get and you get in that vicious cycle of negative thinking patterns and um, you know and then they start bring popping up in your life and it sucks it absolutely sucks now you have um, you have creation centers you create with your thoughts with your feelings and then with your emotion like you create with those three and when you put those three into action they become very powerful in your life if you think a thought say let's say you think a negative thought like I hate myself then you feel like you hate yourself you feel angry inside maybe mad at yourself frustrated with yourself and then that becomes an action and you do things toward to maybe towards yourself or you do something that is representing what you're thinking and what you're feeling as an emotion and that becomes very powerful in your life because you be, you're at the center of your own creation you're at the center of your own life at the center of your own universe and changing thoughts can be very, 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 uh, it can be difficult, but it can, can actually 
proved to be very helpful and beneficial to your life. It can be hard to get out of negative patterns, negative thought processes that you have in your mind, but it's not impossible, it's very possible, it can be hard, like I was saying, but it's not impossible, it's not everything is impossible. You can get out of those negative thinking habits, you can put positive thoughts in your head, he's got to plant them there, and then when negative thoughts come in, just don't, don't let them, if you have one thought, why give it a second? I got that from Neil Donald Walsh as well in his Conversation with God book. Very, very powerful book. Thought can be very powerful and you can actually use visualization and use your mind to your own benefit to benefit you in your life and create things in your life because your thought is pure creation. What I mean by pure creation is I mean that your thoughts are energy. Your thoughts, when you think a thought, you're using your brain, your brain waves, and it's actually energy. and I'm not 100%, I'm not a scientist or anything, but your thoughts are energy that can actually be sent out into the world and create, like literally create out of thin air. And that sounds crazy, it sounds like radical, but your thoughts, your feelings, you are a creation being. You create with all, every cell in your body and it sends out and you send and you are, you send your energy out and it creates and literally places it there in your reality and manifest. So this is where thought can become dangerous. When you start thinking negative thoughts and you get into the swing of things that you don't want to be in the swing of. And it sucks because then you place negative things and thing you place negative things into your life that you never that you never even intended to be there in the first place. And then that's when you start thinking, why is this happening? Man, why did that happen to me? What what I do to deserve this? And you and you look outside yourself for an external source to blame as your own creation that you brought and manifested in your life. That there's no one else to blame but yourself in every almost every single situation. I don't want to say that every single situation is necessarily your fault. Maybe someone you went with took you somewhere where you didn't want to be and you ended up there because they put you there. Now, there, it all depends. I'm not saying you can blame. I'm not necessarily go ahead and just point the finger at them or whatever, but it all depends. Blah, 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 blah. We'll get out of that. Just know that your thoughts literally create your life. Thank you guys for watching. If you've watched this far, I just want to send a little bit of gratitude your way because I know videos like this can be kind of boring sometimes. I'm, I'm getting ideas, I'm getting in the swing of it, second video. So I'm, I'm getting in the swing of things. Just tell me what you guys think. Comment, thumbs up the video if you wouldn't mind. You know, apparently I was watching My Life as Ava, another YouTube channel. And, well, she said likes actually get your video known actually make your video more known known and more you know on YouTube so just give me a thumbs up share it uh, comment subscribe whatever that would be very beneficial for me thank you guys and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day much love peace